Spencer, we made it. <laughs> it's your first ever Kane County Toy Show. Are you excited? Yes. You've never been to this one before. No. It was a long car drive, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready to go find toys? <laughs> Let's go find toys. Hey guys, welcome back to another installment of Toy Hunting with Pixel Dan. So in this episode, I am once again heading up to Kane County up there near Chicago, Illinois for the Chicago Toy Show or the Kane County Toy Show. It goes by both of those names and if you've been watching me on this channel for a long time, you are no doubt familiar with the show. It's one of the biggest full-on toy shows in the entire country and it is one of my all-time favorites. Now, this particular one is a pretty special one for me. First of all, I gotta say that it was kind of a last minute decision to go. Uh, it was one of those things where I've been so busy lately and I've been traveling for other things, other business, and I just didn't know if I really wanted to run off again. But as the, the date was getting closer and closer, just really kind of felt myself wanting to go. I haven't been since last year's spring show, so it's been a full year since I've been. Uh, so many folks were asking me if I was gonna go, so I got a great idea and decided to turn this into a father-son road trip. That is right, my friends. I took my eight-year-old, my son Spencer, with me for his very first experience at the Kane County Toy Show. It was really fun getting to spend the day with him, do some toy hunting. He was so excited to go, so we loaded up for our three-hour car drive up to the Chicago area, and I introduced him to one of the biggest toy shows, definitely the biggest he's ever seen, one of the biggest in the entire country. So, let's just see what we can find at the Spring 2022 Kane County Toy Show. I love this. Toxic Crusaders card game. That's cool. Oh, look, it's Paperboy, Spencer. Paperboy. It's something from Paperboy. How great is that? That's cool. What'd you find? A transformer? I don't know what it is. There's a whole bunch of mini comics from various toys, it looks like. Oh, He Man's. Good job, bud. Love this Technodrome right here, too. I don't know what I thought that was. Got the eye on top. That's always good to see. Yeah, remember those? <laughs> Immortals of Change. Interesting. Count, this is a line that I am not at all familiar with. I have seen Legions of Power before. I think we've actually filmed some of these here before. What is that? Actually, I'm not sure what this goes to. I think it's a Pretender. Oh, it is, right there. Catilla Pretender. So this is actually a Transformers toy, Spence. It opens up and there's a Transformer inside of him. Because he's it's a it's called a pretender because he's pretending to be. Yeah, there you go. Be careful with it, okay though? But yeah, see? Isn't that cool? Cat. Yeah. How does Qbert talk? <laughs> In Wreck It Ralph, right? Yeah. This is really cool. A little wind-up vintage Qbert. Oh my gosh, I love the crest. Toothpaste guy. Is this a lamp? Oh, it's a phone? Amazing. Amazing. Sparkle Crest, I think is what that was called. Street Shark. I found one of those knockoff Power Rangers in like the 5.5 style, and I don't have this Yellow Ranger, so I'm probably gonna check into this. I think I wanna grab this. Spencer's over here finding awesome Rock Lords. That's a good one, too. It's cool, right? Yeah. Spencer just pulled this out of the tub and he asked me what it was. You guys remember these old Mario 3 McDonald's toys, right? So I wanted to show them how the Mario works. Let's see. Ah, there he is! <laughs> Love it. So everything in here is five, I just found out. So I'm definitely gonna grab this guy. I might grab this Rock Lord, even though I already have it, just because five dollars. Or Spencer, maybe he'll grab it. <laughs> 
because he really likes it. See, this is a, this is cool. This is from Black Star. He's missing the saddle and his wings, but it's still really cool. Also, a nice clean Peter in here too. For about Lots of carded Star Trek, like always, but appropriately priced. I love it. It's such an easy line to collect. And these are great toys, man. These are just really great toys. Oh. You need a Klingon blaster? Phaser? Klingon phaser? Very cool. So many amazing in the box Power Ranger stuff. There's a Megazord, there's a Shogun Megazord back there. What do we got here? Sweet! Black Battleborg. It's another box Proton Pack. I've seen a couple of those today. Oh my gosh, and then look at all of the Power Ranger Spin Fighters. So these, Spencer, these are kind of like the Beyblades of my time. Oh. Yeah, you put them in there and then you, they jump out and they spin and they fight the same way. They're all Power Rangers themed. Look at that. There's a whole set of them. Looks like they're being sold together. 150. That's cool. Me and my brother had some of these when we were kids and we would play them together. Yeah, really cool. Some Jumbo Turtles. Krang Android. Prices just keep climbing on this retro turtle stuff. Oh my gosh, yeah, speaking of, look at the Savage Turtles. Savage Leo is one of my favorites. He's got a $300 asking price. Same with the Donnie there from that line. Oh yeah, look at, there's some really, there's some high dollar turtles in here. Universal Mikey, there's a Donnie back there. Oh yeah. Man. 250. Oh wow, there's a uh, a carded robotic rock steady. 200. Oh, snap. Now these these are amazing. Those are from Brazil. That's so cool. All this stuff here came from Brazil. It came out of really? the toy store. They just installed oh, it like wow. six months ago. Oh, wow. Look at this. I just had those shipped in. They're short and staple. Yeah, yeah there's... Yeah, there's oh, there's wow. The oh, this is... Yeah. I had two, two scare blows and three Hordax. Holy moly. <laughs> oh, wow. That is yeah. unbelievable. <laughs> up in the hotel, man. That coat was, that white toe was full. It's like gone. Really? Yeah. Are these like flip-flops? Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. I need to be rocking some of these, like go to the beach with my He-Man flip-flops. Oh, those are sweet. Man, I love this kind of stuff. Holy cow. Oh wow, there's like I think they come in different colors too. This is like a green one. That is rad. Oh, that see that is cool stuff. That is cool stuff from Brazil. Amazing. Always really liked the Range Viper. This is one of the ones I had when I was a kid. The very few G.I. Joe's I had. Look at that box art is so good. Oof. Beautiful boxes. Those prices just keep climbing. On the ghost trap. Does it work? It used to be like you could step on that pedal. There you go. There you go. Look at that. Oh, how cool is that? I used to have this when I was a kid too, dude. Isn't that cool? This is a, this is a rainbow bright play oven. Look at that. Wow, it's all metal. That's what's amazing about this. This is like, it's like all metal. Yeah. That's incredible. This is really cool. King Arthur Castle, over 40 pieces. It's just like little plastic knights and stuff, but I love that. It is great. Polyworld. Oh, and those are like Beanie Baby ones. Psyduck. You got a headache. <laughs>
Yo, yo Yogi. Oh my gosh. Yo, Yogi Benham's. Look at that rad card back. Amazing. Christmas with Colonel Sanders. Amazing. Okay, so there's an entire table of 2000X Master stuff, and there's some in here that I don't actually have in my personal collection, like this ridiculous Mechabyte Panthor, but I love this. And then this is the um, uh, the Trap Orco. He's got the trap in there, and you can see he's like a repaint. He's like brighter red in color, so he's definitely one that I need. So I'm gonna make myself a little pile. We're gonna check on some of these. Because it's a lot of these paint variants from the end of the line I don't have. You know, like I had to track these down and, and find them to photograph them for the book when we did the book, um, and but still don't have them in my own personal collection. So these would actually be really good pickups for me today to get some of this stuff. Of course, Disco Skeletor is in here. He's getting more and more hard to find and, and uh, goes for a lot more these days because he's got that cult status to him. I love him. Both versions of the castle over here. You can see the silver sword and the gold sword. So that's version one and version two. Lots of vehicles, stuff in here. Some of the exclusives are in here. Keldor, Shira, Snake Tila. Good stuff. So I love these, and I this is one of those things I always forget exists until I see it. Little Starcades. So this was the little one here. You can kind of see his face. But you would wind it up, spin in circles, and then you try to flick the little balls in his mouth. Very cool. And then the little monkey one too. I definitely had one of these as a kid, though I can't remember exactly which one. They both seem very familiar to me, so who knows. <laughs> but it's really cool to see them. I love this packaging too. Such cool colors. Camera, camera reception. <laughs> hey, all these guys are here. It's Ed's Retro Geek Out! Hey guys. <laughs> What's up, man? Uh, good. I mean, first You're, time at the Chicago Toy Show. Yeah, shows. what are you doing all the way over here? Uh, I heard there was going to be toys. There's just so many so, toys here. I mean, so yeah. many toys yeah. here. Yeah. We're cool. actually doing like a whole trip. So yeah. I'm hoping to find... Look at uh, Narc over here filming. Lots of stories and stuff. You got Narc filming. Um, I actually got you something. Oh. Um, I'm hoping you don't have it yet. You know you're yeah. big into turtles. I do love turtles. And uh, yeah, see. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping you'd be happy with this. Whoa! It's a shell talker with uh, Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. This is amazing. Holy cow! I love it. It's ideal. Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. I was actually going to bring Not first, allowed to be. And uh, try to sell it, but it was like, oh, then I heard you were coming over. I was like, he's really going to appreciate this. Dude, so, I do really appreciate this. This is amazing, man. Thank you so much. And I know you have a ton in your collection. I don't think this is going to take up too much space. <laughs> no, yeah, exactly. This is like, no, this is perfect because there is no space. <laughs> but there is always space for it. Yeah, this is amazing. Thank you, man. No problem. I love this. <laughs> this is so cool. I love stuff like this. Man, that's awesome. This thing is amazing. This is clearly some sort of bootleg piece. But look at these, are, so these are like little three inch figures, maybe even a little smaller than that, of a He-Man and a She-Ra. That's so cool. I have no idea where it's from, but it's amazing. It's, I mean, it's got the Mattel logo on that paper and everything. That's nuts. Wow. Who is that? Um, <laughs> Yeah, it is. <laughs> I love that you pointed it out to me. Like, Dad, there he is. <laughs> Just like a whole box of Gumbies and Pokies. Like, tiny ones. That's crazy. With this little... So it's just like a, cool. it's like a little pillow? Like a little Hulk Hogan yeah. tiny pillow. 
for your He-Man to, yeah, take to, to rest his head on. <laughs> I had a rough like, day I, today. I wish I had 24 inch pythons. <laughs> <laughs> what are you getting? A robot. We're getting a Glios figure from our buddy, the God Beast. Oh yeah. There he is, the God Beast. <laughs> Coming back for this figure. Dude, he's been he's been talking about it all day. He's like, I think I want to go get that. I think I want to go get that. So I think he's made his decision. You made your decision? Are we buying that? Mm -hmm. Sweet. Alright, man. Good choice, my man. Yeah. This is pretty cool. My pet monster coloring book. And look at this. I love this master's activity book. I love the artwork on it. That blonde Tila sitting on Battle Cat there. That's pretty sweet. What? What are we looking at? Look at this. Whoa. These are amazing, dude. These might be some of the weirdest, neatest things I've seen today, just because they're so strange. Friction Sparkling Warrior has got to be one of the wackiest names I've ever seen for a toy. But look at these things. I love the packaging. Love that retro grid design and all the colors. Those are very cool. I love all of There's a ton of amazing retro video game stuff in this booth, but you know, I love these tabletops. I got one of these at home, don't I? We got a tabletop. This one's the Frogger one. It's very cool. There's Popeye over here, which is great. The Nintendo one. I love these, these coffee mugs. These vintage coffee mugs are so great. But also the board games. Like, this one is a favorite of me and Spencer's. We play this at home still all the time, don't we, dude? We love, we love that. But they also got Zaxxon, Pole Position, Berserk. This one is really, really cool. Now, he did say some of these are missing a bunch of the parts, which is why it's got the $10 price tag, but still, I mean, it's awesome to see it. Awesome to see the box art and everything. Love the retro figures there also, the Calicos. Really, really cool stuff over here. Oh, I always love these too. I got one of these at home. Eat you up. <laughs> So there's some good mo Motu hanging over here. There's a Modulock that looks complete. There's a pink armor Mechanek. There's a pink tubes Manny faces. So just some of the fun color variations that I like to look for are over here. Let's see, looks like that's just a standard yellow neck Rattler, but still nice, nice selection of stuff over here. We got some turtles. Always great to see the toitles as well. I love it, the head dropper, head dropper Raph, with the little soda bottle helmet that sits on top of his head. That's a fun one. Oh, of course, I love the sewer spitting ones here. Spike and Volley Don. Good stuff. So over here in the case, I don't know if you guys can see this, there's a glare on this, but this Battle Cat in the case? Striped Tail Battle Cat. It's probably one of the rarest versions of Battle Cat. You can see. Oh, actually, if you can open it, that'd be really cool. I just want to. I love to show this stuff off. So there we go. Case open. Yeah, you can touch it. Take a look at it. It's got the yellow around the mouth. Yep. Stripes on the tail. Yellow around the mouth. This is uh, uh, thought to be the earliest known production version of Battle Cat, and he is quite a bit more obscure. Um, very, very rare to find this guy in the wild. So it's really cool seeing one of these here. Love this. The wild. That's what we call it. When we find toys out while we're shopping, we call it finding it in the wild. Look at that. <laughs> yes, we're yes, we're in the jungle right here, the toy jungle. <laughs> I'm over here trying to drop knowledge on on this rare battle cat and my son's over here ridiculing <laughs> my lingo. <laughs> uh, 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 some serious droolage going on over here. Look at this. So he's selling it as a full set. But look at these beautiful carded food fighters. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Plus we got the barbecue bomber and the fry chopper here in the box. That is beautiful. Love the glow ghosts on the card too. These are great. Yes. What is this? Oh, you found Mighty Max. Hey, I got this one and this one at home. These are great. Don't you have that one? I might have this one too, actually. Here, be careful with these, okay? Let's see. You want to open one up? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's open this one. There you go. Open that up. I, I pulled it. Oh, watch out. There you go. Ooh, check it out. My favorite one is the, the abomination one. The what? The abomination one. Oh, like the... Um, snow one. The snow one. 
with like the abominable snowman in it. This one's actually my favorite because it opens up into like a pyramid on the inside. It's got like a mummy and stuff. It's very cool. Let me see. Yeah. Now these are wild. So these are weird ball collectums. Look at these things, man. So Weird Balls was like one of the Mad Ball type things that were out. I don't even remember these crazy things though. It's like a whole set of them here. This guy, so, oh my gosh, amazing. Boogers from Planet Nose. Wow, I just, I love it, I love it, love it, love it. THQ, amazing. 1990. What do you think of that? He has so many heads. Spencer's over here gawking at all of the Japanese vinyl toys. <laughs> the Godzillas, look at all the monsters. So this right here really triggered a memory, especially when I saw the tag on it because I had this as a kid, because my local dollar store was selling these when I was a kid. Isn't that amazing that these used to be at the dollar store? 25, so these these are like pretty known, I think bootlegs basically, that were sold at like dollar stores a long time ago, but man, this is so cool. Totally just brought back memories. So look, there's a whole bunch of these super dinos up here, super dinosaurs. And it's amazing. I mean, these guys are just really bringing back memories. I had this one also. I know for sure I had these two when I was a kid. I might have even had more. This guy is awesome. I love him. I mean, totally bootlegged, but like in the best kind of way. Good vintage bootleg awesomeness. These are great. Spencer, we spent so much time walking around here. The place is closing now. Look at this. Everybody's packing up. This is crazy. We shut down Kane County, and I don't think we even saw everything, did we? There's so much to see. You are crazy. <laughs> you are crazy. Hey, dude. So, what was the last thing you picked up today? Whoa. It's a Mecca King Ghidorah. A Mecca King Ghidorah. And I ended up buying all of those super dinos. Look at this. Look at this. My last purchase of the day is that batch of super dinos. But what did you think of your very first Kane County toy show? Did you have fun? Yes. You had a lot of fun, even though you had to wait for daddy to stop and talk a whole bunch? Yes. <laughs> and great show, right Spencer? Mm -hmm. Did you have a lot of fun? Yeah. Well, you wanna, would you do this show again with me sometime? Yes. Do some more shopping. We picked up some cool stuff today. So great kind of just being out here and doing this thing that we all love together and bring in the kids with us now. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? I've been doing this before I even had this kid and now here he is hanging out with me at the toy show. <laughs> <laughs> so there it is. That is a wrap, my friends. The Chicago Toy Show for the spring season of 2022. You know, I had an absolute blast. It was a completely different experience being there with my eight-year-old. I will say that. Um, I was so focused on him, obviously, making sure he was having a good time, but also doing the dad thing, keep an eye on him, while at the same time just running into all kinds of amazing people. So shout out to every single person who I chatted with. I saw so many old friends there, met so many viewers, signed some books. I had just a really, really great time, but it was crazy how fast the day went. We barely saw anything at that show. I was worried that I wouldn't have enough footage to get by in this video because I didn't feel like we made very much progress. The show was so big and we missed so, so very much, but I still had a blast. Wouldn't trade it for anything. So as a recap, here is my haul from the show. I picked up this amazing bootleg or knockoff yellow Power Ranger that's in the five and a half inch scale and style. Uh, you've probably seen me pick some of these up in the past. I have a red, a blue, and a green. So now I have a yellow to add to that group. I got several of those 2000X Masters of the Universe figures that I was missing from my personal collection. Got some of the repaints, such as the green trap jaw. Got the ridiculous Mecha by Panthor. I mean, it's so dumb looking, but I love it. 
And then I got Trap and Smash Orko. You know, I'm not the hugest fan of this particular redesign of Orko, at least the action figure version. However, these brighter colors are much more appealing to me. He does come with this weird trap accessory that just doesn't really work all that good. <laughs> And then the last purchase I made of the day, which was one of those kind of things I would never anticipate buying, were the Super Dinosaurs. And of course, as we showed you in the video, straight up bootlegs of Kaiju monsters. Uh, but these were special to me because I had some of these as a kid that I bought at the local dollar store. So pretty happy to add some of these back to my collection. Aside from that, I got a few gifts from the show as well. Uh, so shout out to my buddy, Josh Flood, who gave me and Spencer these amazing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, bicycle spoke decorations. So we'll have to put those on Spencer's bike if he wants to. I think those are pretty cool. Uh, I was gifted this amazing Star Force carded set. Of course, these are part of the Lannard Cores line. This would have been from the 90s, uh, I believe, but good stuff here. I love these old Cores figures. And then as you guys saw me, uh, as was gifted to me in the video by my good friend, Ed's Retro Geek Out. Uh, this is a Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles like shelf call out. It would sit on a shelf in a store. Uh, this is an amazing piece. Ed is such a wonderful guy. Uh, if you haven't already checked out his content, which I'm sure you have, but you should go check it out because he is such a good dude and he makes some really fun retro toy content. So that's it, guys. That's a wrap on the Spring 2022 Chicago Toy Show. I want to thank you guys all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Special shout out to all of my supporters over on Patreon. You guys are amazing for your continued support. Thank you guys so very much. And stay tuned because more toy hunting is on the way. I'm about to start hitting up conventions as a guest again. So you got more of these coming. Until next time, my friends.